We recently measured the par levels of the Spider Farmer G3000 in a 2 foot by 2 foot grow tent, and while it is a great light in a tent that size, you can also use it in a 3 foot by 3 foot tent as well. Several of you asked us to test the G3000 in a tent that size, and as we just set one up, I wanted to go ahead and get those measurements for the folks that wanted to see it. If you missed the unboxing video for either the G3000 or the Spider Farmer 3 foot by 3 foot tent, I will leave links to those videos in the description down below. With that said, let's get to the new PAR level measurements. At a 12 inch height, the highest PAR reading is 1041, though the highest light level is not in the center of the tent as we usually see. That is because the brightest PAR readings at this height will be directly under one of the light bars. You will also notice that the light levels drop off pretty hard around the outside of the tent. That is because the light does not completely fill the tent, and so at the edges, all there is is reflected light that is bouncing around the tent. It is still a decent amount, but you will actually see the light levels out there increase as we raise the light. This light will pull 300 watts from the wall at full power, and it goes down from there as you dim the dial. At 80, it pulled 281 watts from the wall. At 60, it is pulling 161 watts. At 40, it went down to 101 watts. At 20, it was pulling 51 watts. And finally, at minimum, it pulled 21 watts from the wall. Moving up to an 18 inch height, and the highest reading is now at 811 par, and the highest level is now in the center. The light is able to spread around the tent a bit better at this height, and you will see that the light levels around the edge of the tent have actually come up instead of dropping down like you usually see when you raise a light. The light spread is now a bit more even, and you will see that trend continue as we keep raising the light. We also took PAR readings with the light dimmed and averaged what the results were, which will give you the PAR X readings on the left. All of the readings shown on the screen are at full power, and to get the light levels at different dim settings, just multiply the shown PAR value by that number. For an example, the center reading at 18 inches is 811, but if we have the light set to 60, we would multiply it by 0.55 and get a result of 446, which will get you pretty close with all of the values shown. At a 24 inch height, the center level is down to 707 PAR, and the spread across the tent is really starting to level out and look good. This is the minimum distance that I would hang this light in a tent this size for several reasons. If it is any closer, you are going to have to watch out from the heat this light is putting out, and of course there is keeping the PAR levels as even as possible across the canopy. We are still using the Apogee SQ-420 Smart Quantum Sensor to take all of these measurements, and it has been working great for the last several years. It is just the sensor itself and plugs into a PC to get the readings, so it is a bit more affordable than their standalone units. Their more expensive standalone units are more expensive, but do not need to be plugged into a computer to get a reading. We will leave an Amazon Affiliates link to it down below if that is something you are interested in checking out. Moving up to 30 inches, and the center reading is now at 647 par, and the outer edges have barely dropped at all. This is another great height to have the light at, and in our grows you have probably noticed that we push the lights as close to the ceiling as possible. This really lets the light levels even out, and I also don't have to worry about moving the light up every week as the plant grows. This is one of the main reasons that I like to put the largest light that I can fit into a tent, as it gives me the flexibility to mount the light up higher in the tent and just control the light levels with the dimmer dial. You will be able to see us doing exactly that in the 2 foot by 2 foot grow that we are going to be starting later this week. Getting up to 36 inches, the center level is down to 579 par, again with an amazing spread from there out. If you remember from the unboxing, this light has a removable remote driver, which is one of my favorite things about these bar style grow lights. They give you a lot of flexibility with setting up the tent and deciding how much heat load the light adds to the tent. The ability to place the driver outside of the tent when you need less heat in there is going to be amazing with this light for keeping the temps inside of the tent down to a manageable level, but it is also nice to have the choice to mount it inside the tent. It may make more sense to keep it inside of a tent this size, as things will not be as constrained as you are in a 2 foot by 2 foot tent, but it is definitely nice to have the option. Finally, I hung the light at 48 inches, and the center reading is at 494 par, which is still fantastic. Even in a tent this size, you will easily be able to hang the light closer to the ceiling and get plenty of light to the canopy. The reason for that is even though the tent is 71 inches tall, there is never going to be that much space available inside the tent. If you mount your exhaust fan inside of the tent, your light will likely not be able to get any closer than 12 inches to the ceiling. On the bottom, it is likely that your container and soil will be at least 12 inches above the floor level. 
That will leave you a max of 48 inches between the light and your seedlings, and as the plants grow, they are only going to get closer to the light, which is going to increase the par levels at the canopy naturally. We tend to sprout our seedlings somewhere in the 250 par range, and even at this height, in this tent, I would need to dim the light down to 60 on the dial to get that level in the center of the tent where the seedlings would be. I hope that this video was able to help those folks out that are looking at using this light inside of a 3 foot by 3 foot tent, and I think it works out great in something this size. As always, you need to strike a balance between your budget, your gear, and your grow to pick out what makes the most sense for your situation. I will be doing a few more tests of the lights we have access to in the various tents that we also have to help folks decide what combo will work out best for them. Let me know which combos of Spider Farmer lights and tents you would be interested in seeing down in the comments so that I know what folks are most interested in, as it does take a bit of work to get these measurements for each combo, and I want to get the ones that folks are most interested in first. A big thank you to Spider Farmer for sending this gear over for us to take a look at. If you would like to try any of their gear for yourself, I will leave links to it on their website in the description down below. Make sure to use code GEEKS at checkout to get an 8% discount on your order. Another big shout out goes to our channel members here on YouTube and patrons over on Patreon that have pledged at the Tremor level. While all of our members and patrons help keep the channel going, you folks have gone above and beyond, and we really appreciate it.